Okay. Today I'm going to show you how to make um, custom materials. Here's the piece of elastic, rice, water. All right, now you can combine all these three. What you do is you have to make sure that some elements are already selected. Press escape and press the keys for elastic, rice, and water, which is E, K, and Q. And it'll make a block of this stuff. which behaves a bit funny. Okay, now every time you press escape and you do your little custom material, you can actually do it again. So, escape, E, K, Q. It'll create a second version of this material. And they won't behave the same either. And that's basically, for example, you can make heating gas, escape, H, G, Escape HG, the different colors, they might do different things. There you go. That's basically, and next I will show you how to describe these materials so we can all know what we're talking about. Uh, one more thing I just forgot to mention is. When making materials, you can rearrange your buttons. For example, Escape MR will make this stuff. Escape MR and then Escape RM. Escape RM. See, so there's four different um, key combinations with the M and R buttons and they all make different things as you can see. All right, now I'm going to show you how to describe um, these materials. What you do is you press Escape and um, do your custom material. For example, I'm going to press Escape DFG for dense fuel gas. It's DFG1, that's the way we'll describe that. So we'll press Escape DFG for dense fuel gas again. And that's DFG2. Okay, now we're going to make some light gas. Escape, LFG. This is LFG1. Escape, LFG. This is LFG2. Now I know from beforehand that the twos don't burn in this case. So I'll erase them. And I'm just going to test just to make sure that these gases do burn. Yep, there's one. And there's the other. Alright, whoops, undo. Well, I'll have to make it again quickly. DFG, LFG, LFG1, I wanted. That's this one, okay. And now, if you actually put them in a container, like this, for example, there's a bit of I'm just going to get the eyedropper tool and um, make new shapes in here. Pause it. I'm going to pause it now. Make a new shape of the other gas in here. And you can see how they mix. Alright, well not quite, but I'll show you up here. They, they have a really good reaction like that and um, causes them to mix. can be used as a propellant, kind of and it burns as well. Alright, that's basically it. Um, I might show you how to do a boat or something. Alright, so I'll quickly show you how to do a boat or something. Now, I just came up with this before in about two seconds, hitting random keys or typing in random names. Now, what I use is Bush1 and Brendan2. So, escape B-U-S-H There's a bit of bush Escape B Brendan Alright, there's two, there's Brendan one, sorry I want two So we'll push escape and type Brendan again to get the two And We'll get rid of the other one 
All right, so I'll use this for the order. Just chuck some down here. And I'll use the Brendan for the boat. Oops. Um, now what you do is you draw a circle with the brush like that. Just erase this and unpause it. Yeah, and you, as you can see this Brendan stuff's um, kind of kicking stuff out the back. Maybe I need to draw a different shape. Yeah, as you can see this um this one's kind of moving along. Chuck on the crosses so you can see the flow. It causes a flow around the edge. Maybe if I fill it with water, it might become a submarine. Who knows? Maybe with dents. Probably needs fatter walls too. Yep. Okay, that's a bit insane. But anyway, you get the point. Or maybe this stuff can be used for um, like an engine since it causes stuff to spit out the back. Like this green stuff can be the case and I'm sure someone can work out an engine design. I'll just show the crosses again for the flow. Just chuck it in the middle here so we can see what happens. Yeah, it's moving forward, or to the right, slowly. But anyway, yeah, that's basically how you make stuff.